Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Ganesh Pandey. Today I'm going to describe uh, the process of extracting data from Google Earth. So this is Google Earth and this is my country Nepal and I want to extract some of the data from Kathmandu Valley, my capital city. So let's zoom into Kathmandu Valley. And uh, there are three ways that you can extract data. This is adding placemark, this is adding polygon, and this is adding path. So let's go into first. This is adding placemark. So this is the airport of Fashmanda Valley. So you can placemark these things. All right, and you can get get two important things. That is latitude and longitude. So if you want uh, uh, longitude and latitude of a particular point or a starting point of a survey or a place or of your own house or any particular place that you want to give to somebody else so this is useful for that and you need to do is save these things in your computer and save place as and you can rename that and you can save in kml or kmz file and later you can convert these things in other different formats uh, or uh, you get two important things that is longitude and latitude from these things and if you need more points then you can you have to do again adding place mark and copying the longitude and latitude of these those points that you have added and you can tabulate them so this is useful next thing is adding polygon so if you want a save file or a or a particular polygon file then you need to do this so what ktm valley okay so you can save this thing in your computer and later you can convert them into save file from gis so you have to do a okay let's rewind this okay where is that? Like where this is KTM Valley. Okay, so you you can export these things in into GIS and convert them into save file. So if you have map of Nepal and if you have that save file, then this thing will be shown in the map. All right. So this is useful for creating save file. Another example I want to give for this thing. Okay, let's do this. If you have a map of Kathmandu Valley or a save file of Kathmandu Valley early, earlier, then you can show a jungle all right, in Kathmandu Valley. So you can create a save file of this. Okay, jungle one. Okay, rename this thing jungle one, or you can give a place like Pasupati. This is near Pasupati. Okay, and you can okay and you can save again and you can bring these things into uh, gis and give some some of these things like there is another jungle over here so you can create multiple save file and you can show in the Kathmandu map Kathmandu valley map in gis so this is useful for the, these things another thing is uh, adding path and this is one of the most important and most uh, useful tool for uh, extracting points let's use this mm, okay i want to say this is ktm contour so this is useful for making contour also let's see oh and contour. all right uh, for this you need to just give points all right so you can give multiple points you can give a lot of points so like this you just keep 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 clicking clicking just click clicking the points clicking the points clicking the points. okay let's do this and let's save this thing and let's save this thing into desktop but as i have said earlier from google earth you can only obtain longitude and latitude but for contour we have to obtain altitude so to do this we have a software called TCX converter I'll be giving a link for you in the description and you can download that so let's open the file that we have saved as KTM contour so 
this is the file okay these are the points that you have clicked so there are a lot of points you know so you can click you can extract some thousand some two thousand five thousand points in within within some two or three minutes so this is very useful and you can see latitude over here longitude over here time over here distance over here and also there is no altitude so for that you need to go to track modifying and update altitude you need inter internet connection for this without internet it's not possible so altitude is updated look at this all the altitude is updated now you can export these things in different formats there are a lot of formats format and tcx gpx kml plt csp so we need csp let's save this as a csp yes and open that file and you can you get all of the points that you clicked and use those points for making control so i hope this is useful for you if you have any question please comment below and in the next video i'll be I will be describing how to use these points to make a contour. See you again. Thank you so much.